Hi guys, what's going on? It's Chris or Temple Gaming here, and welcome to a new tutorial. Now, the tutorial today is on the Hopper Crusher for Minecraft, for usually a mob farm, crushing mobs, and it's extremely useful. It's the only one that I've ever used because, well, let's face it, using pistons and repeaters is honestly horrible. Now, this is the Super Flat World, so some tutorials will be on this. In fact, I'll be trying to keep as many tutorials as possible on the Super Flat World, mainly because I spawned it and that happened, so I think that's a sign. Now the hopper crusher, these are the requirements, you're going to, going to need two hoppers, two pieces of redstone, three stone bricks or block of your choice, a block of redstone, two sticky pistons, one redstone torch, two redstone comparators and one button. Now this is the redstone um, hopper, the hopper crusher. Now it works by using these hoppers, when there's an item inside of the hopper it will send a signal. Actually, I believe it's when they don't. I'm not a perfect expert with hoppers, but by the looks of things, yeah, it's when there is redstone in it, it sends a signal to this block and activates this as well. Actually, it sends it here, which sends it here, which sends it here, which will activate and push this piston. Now, the reason this piston isn't pushing it along is because this redstone torch is keeping this active. Now, I'm not sure exactly why that happens, but I believe it's just because it's activated first and so it can't push back. And so that's what this is actually for, because if you had, without it, let's say we get rid of that, it's just going to be a clock, a 10 tick clock. So it takes one tick for each of these to push through. Actually, I have no idea if that's a tick. I believe that's a tick. Anyway, so it'll, for the time it takes for these redstone does to push through there, it's that timed clock. Now, so obviously using the block, uh, I want to use that. And the torch means it's going to keep this piston active at all times. Now, so we can go ahead and get ourselves a button. And voila, the clock is finished. We hit the button. The redstone block moves here. And then it will well, crush the mobs for a certain amount of time. You can run a redstone line along there to a piston and crush. For the 10 redstone ticks. And then you'll be fine. Now, I did set this up over here. So this is a pseudo mob generator because I don't have the mod that allows you to create spawners um, so I'll just use some of these spawn eggs and all will be dandy and I'm unpeaceful see I'm a genius also I believe those sounds are quite loud so I'm gonna go ahead and turn them down time set night another fail or I could have actually just done that, but then I can't place them in. Anyway, we'll go with that. Pick up all the drops that are there. Okay, so very loud zombies. I hope it's not too loud for you guys. If it is, just, um, yeah. Sorry. Turn your volume down. Hit the button. And they're crushed. So, yeah. So it crushes them. Those other ones had been burning for quite a while. And then you punch them a few times. And they'll start dying. Obviously you can get the timing of this fine-tuned. I didn't. Which was a bit of a fail. But um, I believe it will only require... T I believe it's 22 ticks to knock a zombie down to 1 health. So I did 20, I believe. 20, so you can change it. You can work it out on your own. And I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these... Set night. Some of these mobs because they're getting annoying. Uh, do... That's not how you do it. Peaceful. There we go. Okay, so this is set up as a pseudo mob spawner. So obviously you have a water system probably moving the mobs down into here. If it's blaze, you're going to have to use pistons. And I can't, I don't know how to do a proper blaze spawner. So if you, you guys can create your own design for that. This is just for the crusher. So obviously the mobs will be channeled into here. They'll land down there. You'll be waiting here. You can hit the button. It'll crush them, knock them down to one health, and you can punch them, getting all their drops and their experience. Or alternatively, you can place a hopper there, and then you can have a chest, like so. Um, that's not going to work as well, so I believe we're actually going to do it like this. No. Uh, chest, chest, hopper, I believe that works. No, I need to place this into that first. 
Yep, there you go. So you can have all your drops traveling along there, and that means you can actually just let your mobs die. So you can hit the button, watch as a thousand zombies die, and all the loots drop into this chest, which is completely useless because you get no rare drops, and nobody wants rotten flesh. But the main reason is for the experience, and the drops will just not get in your inventory as badly if you're punching them and they're dropping into the hopper. Anyway, so as you can see, the basic hopper crusher setup is done exactly here. The same, except for obviously more redstone in here. Now the amount of like the number of items here determines how long this stays active. And then we have this system set up to activate the piston. So obviously redstone wire taken from underneath that, traveling up here to activate the piston. You have the redstone wire connected to the button, traveling to turn this this torch off, because once this torch is off, this piston can push this redstone block and activate the redstone wire. And so we'll just show you how that works. Redstone torch turns off and crushes, 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 and then turns off. And it's simple. It's really easy, and yeah, it's almost foolproof. In fact, I think it is foolproof. I've never had any problems with it. So, it might be pricey early on in the game. You've got to make the hoppers, you've got to make the comparators, which means you need to go to the nether, but other than that, it's really fun, and it's definitely worth doing. It's definitely one of the easiest things to do if you know how to do it. Like, if you know how to do it, you can set it up whenever you want. It's not too complicated. It's just, yeah, kind of difficult to think it up. So it, this tutorial, I hope, will actually help you with your mob crushes in the future for all the XP farms you want to do. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hope you learned something. Hope you make crushes and stuff like this in the future. It means, yeah, obviously I've helped you somehow, and that makes me feel good. Leave a like if you learned something, and subscribe to my channel for new tutorials and other videos all the time. Goodbye.